Hey guys, today we're going to do a quick tutorial of uh, setting up a Cosmic for uh, different modes. I'm going to go over uh, modes 3 and 4 today. Uh, 3 is used for planes and 4 is typically used for helicopters. Uh, I happen to be in the middle of a new plane build at the moment and it's a pretty messy setup right here but um, it seemed to be a good kind of time to, uh, to show how to set up the Cosmic. Um, so I'll be running this in mode 3 on the plane uh, but I also have one on a Goblin uh, 770 uh, running in mode 4. Um, so a couple tips. Um, really all you're doing is teaching the ESC uh, the endpoints of your controller. Uh, so before you start programming anything, and what I'm about to say applies to um, mode 1 as well, and mode 1 is the first thing you need to program when you set it up, is you need to get everything connected um, as specified. in the manual. So, uh, and, and what I mean is you don't want to leave anything out. Uh, when I first did this, I, I didn't connect the motor right away and I was wondering why nothing was working. So here, I have it connected to the motor. Since I since uh, this is not fully installed, I just have some tape pr protecting the connectors for the moment while I uh, set this up. I uh, have the throttle cable connected and obviously uh, the battery wires. Uh, note, um, this is not shielded at the moment and I don't have the fuse installed, but I highly, highly recommend that I don't leave the fuse off. As you can see, it's kind of hard to see on the Goblin, but obviously the fuse is on uh, the negative side and it's uh, uh, insulated nicely. So uh, first things first, everything is set up, uh, connected to your receiver inside, and then on your transmitter, what you need to have is um, a straight throttle curve. So if you're running a helicopter, you know, no 80% curves, no flat curves. You just need a kind of straight up and normal throttle curve. So we'll take a look here. Volume 50. And there you go. There's my throttle curve. This is a plane setup, um, but you would need to set up the same thing. Um, when you're first programming a helicopter. So this guy is all set. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, turn on the receiver. So I'm just going to actually put this down for one second while I do that. All right. This guy's turned on. The next thing I'm going to do is plug in the Cosmic. And you're going to hear a few beeps since it's already uh, programmed from mode 3, but we'll go through it again. Alright. Alright. Now to get this programming, first thing you need to do is make sure your throttle stick is at zero. Make sure any throttle hold is off, so that it's off. And then, what we're going to do is look on the side, and the button that says press, we're going to press that. And what it's going to do is make a series of beeps, which we will then move the throttle stick in relation to. So we're going to first program mode 3, which means after we press this, we're going to listen until it beeps three times. And after it beeps three times, it, that indicates it's ready for mode three programming. And we'll, we'll move the throttle stick to full. It will confirm it with another set of beeps and then we'll move it back to zero. So here we go. There we go. We're gonna listen for three beeps. One. Two. There's three. Here we go. So bring it back. And it got it. Now we can unplug. And that is it. Okay, and uh, now to show that mode 3 is programmed, I'm just going to give this a quick try. There we go. Alright. Now it would be the same thing for programming mode 4 on a helicopter. In fact, uh, we'll go ahead and do it right now.
even though we're not going to use this on a heli. So I'm going to press this again. But now I'm going to wait for oops. Now I'm going to wait for four beeps for mode four. Okay, my mistake. I'm actually going to restart this then. Okay. Okay. Now I'm going to wait for four. One. Two. Three. And next will be mode four. We're going to do exactly the same thing. Up. Got it? Back. There we go. Mode 4 is done. And that's it for uh, mode programming on the Cosmic. It really is that simple. Um, after you've done it a few times, it, it definitely is very easy. Uh, I know when I first got it, I was completely confused by the instructions, which are, uh, let's be honest, poorly trans uh, translated. And I had been using uh, Castles a lot and was pretty comfortable with their PC interface. So uh, this whole notion of, um, you know, moving the control st stick in relation to beeps was rather confusing, but kind of once you get through it, um, it really is pretty simple. Um, so we covered mode three for planes and mode four for helicopters. Programming them is exactly the same. If you need to make any tweaks, um, you can use the prog disc, which we'll cover separately. Uh, one thing I did want to mention for helicopters in particular is um, after you kind of go through that initial programming using uh, the linear throttle curve, you're going to want to uh, switch to using a flat throttle curve for the cosmic uh, governor. And so what that means is you're going to go in and set throttle curves at um, roughly 80% for um, essentially your, your 3D, your stunt flying, your higher head speed, and about 60, 65% uh, for your lower head speed. The exact percentages are in the manual, but I'll just show you um, my configuration here. So here we go. Uh, see here I have uh, normal, which this is actually my 25%. That's my setting for auto rotation bailout. Um, I'm going to cover that separately. Um, so here is uh, idle up one, which is 66% and uh, idle up two, which is 80%. Uh, and the one, again, if you're coming from something like a castle, the major difference here is when you're, when you're programming the castle, you're kind of used to saying, I want the head speed to be 2000 or 2500, and you just enter your number and a few other things and, and it handles it. Uh, with the Cosmic, it's different. You set the number at 80%, it holds it at 80%, then you have to set your gearing accordingly to get to the, uh, the head speed you want. So I highly recommend using a head speed calculator to figure out, you know, what pinion you need, etc. So that at 80% um, uh, throttle, you get the head speed you want. And uh, that's pretty much all there is to it.